Hi, I'm Ryan Clements. I'm a software developer who builds products and games in the horse racing world. Grew up in a horse racing family on a horse farm and it's in my blood. Cam fellas, come back and he's going to win it! A sensational performance! My grandfather was lucky enough to um, own half of Cam Fella back uh, horse of the year 1982, 1983, so been in the industry a long time. Um, at the time he built, he bought and built Princely Acres, which has been a breeding farm ever since. Um, and then following along him, my dad was a trainer and driver, so he drove mainly in the Ontario circuit. He was the uh, top driver at Grand River and Georgian Downs around 2004, 2005. Um, he's now retired from from driving but still active as a trainer uh, and I'm sort of that third generation horseman who never became a horseman. Uh, my parents both didn't want me to be a driver. I remember a lot of times rushing to the hospital when my dad would get in an accident and uh, just the whole feast and famine where there would be times where you win a big race and you feel like you're rich and then months go by and uh, everything dries up and, and the life, life is just hard. Um, so my parents didn't want me involved in that and basically kept me out of it as much as they possibly could. I wasn't, I wasn't uh, asked to be at the barn. Uh, you know, I'd go over and feed sometimes, but I just really wasn't that actively involved in it. Um, but I never really strayed too far away from it either. I, I was always interested in horses. I always wanted to be a part of it. Um, so I've just sort of been always in that, that balance of half in, half out. So I worked as a groom a couple times when I was younger. Um, I even got my set of colors in my helmet, and you know, there, there was part of me that wanted to be a driver. I remember when uh, Scott Zeron and Doug McNair were just before they even got their license. I'm a little bit older than those guys, and it was kind of right around that time where it's like, I think there's an opportunity here. The, the the previous generation, you know, there's a little bit of a gap. There's an opening. It's like maybe I could do this, um, and it was sort of always something I wanted to do, but never really got that close to actually doing it. One of the earliest ones was I wanted to own racehorses when I was about 17 years old and I didn't have any money. So naturally the only thing I could think to do was to get a group of 20 people together and go claim a horse for $5,000 because I had $250. Um, so that was how I got into horse ownership. I had to take a different route there and this is sort of, I, I won't be able to get in a sulky and drive in a race, but in the virtual world I can. So creating these games has kind of allowed me to not only experience different parts of the industry myself, but to invite other people into that as well. Um, and you know, there always is the side where I'm, I'm the world's best virtual harness driver. There's nobody who can drive better than me in the entire world and catch driver, so I own that title. Even within the industry, the owners love to play catch driver because they don't get to sit in the sulky. And the drivers love to play off in pacing because they don't get to experience what it's like to own a large stable of horses. Um, so we've started to find those areas where people are interested in. And now we're making headway into more, into the actual industry itself, which is tough to do simply because this is an old industry that has an established business model and established ways of doing things. So it takes some time to break down some barriers and to really start to question you know, is there, a, is there a better way, is there a newer way, is there something that we can do differently with our data, with our technology, with our betting, um, and to start to explore those, it just takes some time to build the trust and develop relationships around the industry. It's really finding that next step of connection. The industry's been very supportive of us, I think, mainly because we're not in a uh, role where we're seen as a, a threat or an enemy. I mean, we're a games company, we're building software, and we're very much about wanting to support the industry. So the, the industry's been helpful in any way they can. Um, you know, we've added countless tracks from across the world into Catch Driver and Off and Pacing, and, and everybody's always been very quick to help. Um, the next step for us is to find an alignment where we can actually get some of that weight of the big players in the industry behind us. Because um, we've been sort of very much going it alone. Uh, we, we built this from, from two people sitting behind a desk with, with no industry funding, no industry um, support other than just um, being helpful towards us and being friendly. So we're, we're, we're currently trying to explore those partnership opportunities and uh, I don't know what the first one will be, but uh, I know that there's a lot of a lot of people in the industry who are open to it and looking, looking to build these partnerships.
If, if you've heard from Anthony McDonald and Mistable.ca, he'll, he'll sell you the story of why fractional ownership is so important to our sport. Um, if you go to Western Fair on any given race night, there will be 100 horses or so entered the race. That's 100 owners who are the people who are most motivated to go and fill the dining room and go and bet on their horse and, and watch the races. So what if, rather than having 100 owners that night, you could have 10,000 owners, 100 on each horse, who are now motivated to watch these races? And it's just a different way to think to get the eyeballs on the product. Um, so what we want to do now, I've ran a fractional ownership group in the past. What I want to do now is I want to build the platform that allows other people to run fractional ownership groups. So we've created a thing called Bright Future Racing, which is designed to make it easy for somebody to start a fractional ownership group, help them with their billing, their communication, and just create new owners for our sport.